compete. When people approach you, and probably a lot of do, and ask, I want to become a service designer, or I want to become a better service designer, that's even better. What do you say? What is the single most important thing? I think it's look at what other people are doing um, in your domain, other service designers, but also look at what other people outside of your domain are doing who are making change and impacting and learn from them. That's it. Why, why is that so important? Well, I think, I think sometimes you can become too insular looking just at your own tribe. So look at how this other tribe that's being successful over, over here, look at them. And, and learn. So, I, I mean, I suppose underpinning all that is have a learning mindset, an open mindset, be willing to adapt. You know, there's no sacred cows here. I mean, I think what I'm noticing in the service design community is there's a lot of people saying, oh, service design should be done in this way rather than that way. And I've been guilty of that myself. That's not a service blueprint. That's an experience map. It doesn't really matter how you get there as long as you make progress, right? So, I think sometimes we can become a little bit kind of like, well, we're in the castle now. Let's pull up the drawbridge. I don't, mm -hmm. I, I think we've got to be a lot more open minded. We could, should embrace change and embrace new discipline, distinctions and specialisms within our own kind of tribe, yeah. Was this a helpful tip? Let me know by clicking that like button down below. And if you're ready to take your service design skills to the next level, go to learn.servicedesignshow.com where you'll find courses by leading service design experts that dig deeper into the topics we talk about on the show. And if this is your first time here, I would love to have you to subscribe to the channel so we can keep bringing more great content like this.